Hi guys, welcome back and uh, this time around I'm bringing you two products from uh, TRN uh, the TRN Orca and the TRN Bax Pro uh, Both of them have already been out for a while uh, but uh, uh, with, uh, with the backlog that I have they kind of just got forgotten and it wasn't on uh, with any intention to do so um, With regards to the Bax Pro um, the initial uh, unit I got was a, a kind of a pre-production unit um, and it had a slight, uh, slight fault, which was the tuning of the base driver was overemphasized, so that you know, it, it graphed nothing like the, the, the presented graphs by TRN, and it actually sounded uh, not too good, to be honest. So I subsequently got a second unit, which is this one here from um, from Hi-Fi Go, and that one, yes, is uh, graphing more, more or less what uh, TRN did say that it would graph like, and it does sound what I was expecting it to sound. So I just wanted to point that out and get that out of the way. The Orca um, is a, a single DD, uh, which uses switches to slightly adjust its tuning, and it uses an, a 10 millimeter LCP driver. The, um, the, the Bax Pro uses a beryllium uh, coated driver. I believe it's the same driver that we find in the ST5, also from TRN. And on this left hand side here, I've got you the <coughs> Excuse me, the TRN Conch, which um, it's kind of been the surprise. I think it's it's the most surprising I am uh, from TRN in a long, long time. Not only because the design is quite uh, quite nice, it's quite unique, but the sound that it actually has, and with the tuning nozzles and the price and everything, I think it's it's been a, a very pleasant surprise for those that have bought it and are able to appreciate it. In terms of price, what we have, we're talking about. The, the conch is around $30, give or take, I mean, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive than that, depending on where you get it from. The um, the um, uh, Orca, you can get it anywhere from uh, $15 to $18. And the, <coughs> excuse me, the Bax Pro um, is about um, um, $390, $400 almost. That's, uh, that's, what I, that's what I got it for from uh, Hi-Fi Go. Anyway, um, I've selected these three, uh, and I could have selected way more, but uh, because I think this is will, this will be suffice to position them. Um, firstly, because the conch is kind of a reference, at least for me, it's a reference. I know that sometimes I end up not including it in um, in some reviews, not done on purpose. Uh, but let me just clear the the, the 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 doubt or the question that sometimes arises: How does the conch compare to the EW200 from Simgot, which is kind of like the king under forty dollars or under the fifty dollar price bracket? How does it compare to um, the um, the EPC the Q5, which is again is an, a fantastic IM under fifty dollars? Um, so how does this compare to those two, which are probably the 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 better ones? Fantastic, it's an amazing IM. Um, uh, you know, it comes well accessorized. It's got the tuning nozzles. It's got uh, it's it's really a very nicely and very well put together from a product from TRN. Uh, it, it is, and 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 congratulations have to be given. Um, is it better than the W two hundred? Is it better than the Q five? No, it's not better, but it's a a very solid alternative. I mean, in terms of the Q five, some might not like the shell. Some might sound the found, might, some might find the sound a little bit too thin. Uh, with regards to the EW two hundred, as I've also heard people mention that the sound is a little bit too bright. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it doesn't have tuning nozzles. Neither does the uh, the, the Q five. So this does offer a, a little bit more versatility in terms of that. It does offer a nice modular cable on top of that. So you know, kudos for for TRN for having launched this and, and making it such a nice sounding product and. I think this will then be enabled, will be enough for me to position both the Orca and the the, the Bax Pro. Um, firstly, with the with the the Orca, I mean the box is very simple. I'm not going to take you through it. It's really basic box, simple accessories, simple tips, uh, nothing uh, nothing really that you know uh, it would <coughs> be unusual for the price. In terms of the Bax Pro, yes, the Bax Pro does does bring. Uh, a nicer package. Uh, it's composed, as I as I mentioned earlier. It's a exact. Well, let me, let me. I believe I didn't say it. it's actually a tribrid. So it's a it's a ten millimeter that Berlin driver. Two Knowles um, uh, BAs, a twenty nine six eighty nine three three five one eight, and then uh, a, a, a dual Sonian EST. So it's a it's a tribrid. 
Uh, this is the package, and this is what you kind of would expect, obviously, for this price. The IEMs came sitting over there. You open it up, and it's got a nice selection of tips, the carrying case, and all the accessories you can possibly imagine in terms of, of the, the connectors and the tools and the various uh, different terminations for the cable. The tips, like I said, that brings the, the, the TRNT tips and a few more tips. It, it's it's well accessorized. It, it, in, with, this, with this, it is... It's well done. There's nothing really that we can fault here from TRN with regards to the, the presentation and the and the accessories. Okay, now um, let's uh, let, let me get the orca out of the way. We've gotten the boxes out of the way, so let's get now the orca and its sound and everything. Shell, um, metal shell. You can see uh, tuning switches, three of them, uh, and the difference really. I've got them. Uh, if you can see there, I hope you can, if you look carefully, I've got it in the zero, zero, zero position. And if you actually adjust the switches, what you basically do is you accentuate more the roll off of the upper mids and treble. That's all you do. So I've left it in the zero, zero, zero position, which for me gives me the, the, the nicest sound. It's kind of a harmon, warm, you know, a, a, a warmish harmon tune. Um, it fits very nicely. It's got it's got a nice weight to them. Uh, I would have liked maybe the faceplate to have just had uh, maybe um, maybe a, some sort of texture here or something instead of just those two uh, white dots. Kind of looks like eyes or something. Uh, you know, if you look at it in certain positions, it will look like eyes. Anyway. Um, but it's a, it's a nicely built IEM, very solidly built. The cable obviously is not a stock cable. This is actually a, a Panon cable. Um, you know, the tips, I'm also using some KB ear tips because these were the ones I, that were giving me the best sound. But the sound, it's a, it's a nice full bass sound, great mids. And then it's got that roll off on the upper mids and treble that <coughs> will be welcomed for people that obviously are not big fans. But it still maintains more than enough energy to balance out the rest of the frequency range. So... While the conch uh, has got uh, very well emphasized upper mids and treble, but emphasized in a proper manner, and obviously it's a bright and more detailed, more twinkles and sparkly, this is a slightly warmer presentation. So this will be for those that are perhaps looking for the, the, the ultimate in terms of detail retrieval and all of that. Uh, and this will give us a, a, a lusher, more, uh, more um, organic type of sound, you could say. The rest of the frequency response, and when I show you the graphs, you'll see they basically, they basically graph very similar. And the sound is very similar as well in terms of the bass. It's nice, solid bass. Uh, no real, no real, um, no real bleed into the mids. Um, it's 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 got it's an incisive thump. Um, you know, resolves complex tracks quite decently. I mean, obviously we're talking for this price, so no no real complaints there. Um, mids, both male and female vocals, are very nice. Again, very very uh, correct sounding uh, instruments in terms of timbre and tonality as well. Very correct. Uh, and then in technicalities, it, they are all fine. You know, I mean. Uh, if we consider the MT1 um, uh, Max, which was the, the, the updated MT1 uh, as the other, let's say, single DD that TRN offers, this puts the MT1 Max to shame completely. Uh, the MT1 Max, it puts the, the, the MT, MT4, the, the collaboration that uh, was done, uh, both the, sta the standard unit and the collaboration that was done uh, with, with HBB to shame. It is a very nice sounding IM, and I would say it actually is uh, on equal terms in terms of sound to the conch. Um, where it loses out and where the justification for the price difference comes is the fact that it's not as well accessorized. But in terms of pure solid sound, okay, how it sounds, it's very well, very well tuned. It's, it sounds fantastic, just not as um, detailed and sparkly at the up, you know, on the upper registers, which. Uh, it's it's you know it's something that you decide which what you want you want a, a, a more detailed brighter sounding I am or something which is a little bit more laid back and a little bit more um, <coughs> warmer sounding like the like the orca on the on the Bex Pro the Bex Pro obviously you know it's four hundred dollars almost it's playing with the big boys um, this comparison you know initially might not seem fair. Um, and the fact that it's got you know three driver types, EST, BAs, and and the DD and everything, and also the tuning switches. Once again, I've actually left the tuning switches 
in the zero 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 position because that's the position where things are, are more more coherent when once you start playing with the switches it emphasizes the four five six k area and just messes things up so in my opinion just leave it in that in that position there um and you know when you start listening to uh the the Bex pro uh, and you put aside the sound the the price it, it sounds decent i'm not going to say that it doesn't sound decent it sounds decent uh, there is a, a a good coherency between the drivers they, they they're all pretty well matched there is the occasional slightness of the ba timbre it comes out but nothing that is offensive um now <coughs> when we take it and we compare it with um other uh, tribrids on, on, on this on this kind of price bracket and you know like something like the ISN the EST50 um, the ISN just completely uh, it, it just completely walks all over the back, the back stroke um, so although it is a, a, a valid attempt I'm not going to deny it isn't a valid attempt and a better uh, better execution than the original backs um, it in my opinion does not have what it takes to not only compete with the other tribrids uh, at, at around its price point, um, uh, let alone uh, uh, you know, be a justification to, to, to be better for you to choose this over over the others. I apologize for those of you that have got the Bax Pro and I think it's it's a, it's a fantastic IEM. I apologize, but that's the reality. I mean, you take this for example and you compare it. Um, uh, let's compare it to the Phoenix Core for example. Um, that in essence is a tribrid as well. And that's a superior IM in every respect to the Bex Pro. In every respect, it's a superior IM. Uh, let's take some uh, some hybrids. Let's take uh, something like the Performer Five. Let's take the Performer Eight. Uh, let's take the the Sound Drive, the SR SR Seven. Um, you know, those are all IMs that are superior. Let's take the High Senior, the Okavango as well. They are all superior to the Bex Pro. They all play better. They all are more coherent. They're more. They have, they've got a better tuned. Um, better, better, better tuned execution. Okay, uh, and I think it's a, it's a pity. It's a, honestly, it is a pity because you know when you consider that they've been able to uh, give us a nice, a really nice single D like the Contra and an equally nice single D like the Orca, and then they give us something like the Bax, which is their top of the line IEM, and which is supposed to really showcase what they are capable of doing with three drivers, and the performance that you're getting is not superior to these two. Okay, that's the reality. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush. The superior the, the, the performance of the Bax Pro is not superior to these two. Obviously, when you consider price and everything, if I have to now go into more detail, uh, the base here is slightly quicker than the base of the Orca, about the same as the as the as the conch in terms of speed and, and resolution and, and how it can resolve complex passages, which already says heaps for the for the orca if i'm talking about mids they are well executed male and female vocals they are good they are they come across nice um, you know nice tonality instruments everything fine but i was expecting more when you're talking 400 dollars, you expect mids that will blow you away you you expect to be immersed into a, a mid-range uh, ex, um, uh, performance that's at least me and in terms of the treble that's actually the area where i think the 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 treble here has been uh, considering its EST has been very well executed. The treble of the Orca uh, of the Orca, my apologies, of the Bax Pro, I have to say, has been very well done. Uh, graphically, it doesn't look like it, but the treble has been very very well done. Um, the ESTs here are, are really doing their work. It, it gives the right amount of energy that balances out very nicely with the other with you know with the with the other two uh, driver types. And and, and honestly. Um, I never really felt that there was any lack of coherency between the drivers or anything of the sort. Obviously, I am talking about this unit, which is the unit that I got from Hi-Fi Go, uh, which is the unit that uh, supposedly is the way that it should be tuned, not the initial unit. The, the initial unit was, an, was a total mess. I mean, it sounded it sounded like a cheap, cheap IEM, honestly. Uh, not, not I, I, was, I was definitely not impressed, but anyway, um, things were resolved and that's what matters. Uh, so there you have it guys, I mean, you know, in terms of, of performance, the Orca is a solid IEM, it's the price that it's being sold for, $16, it's a solid IEM, it's got a nice frequency response, uh, it's, um, it's technicalities all for the price, excellent, um, it's, you know, very solid performer overall uh, in terms of, of comparing it with the, with the, 
<coughs> with the conch, which is my, my reference, let's put it that way. The conch does offer more upper mids and treble detail, more 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 more, more sound stage, more imaging capabilities. Um, and, and so it will be a more technically inclined IM for those that want you know, a, little, a little bit more that want that kind of EW twenty performance. This this will give you more uh, a performance along the lines of let's say the the HBB the blonde the HBB the Z three hundred that kind of of a, of a, of a vibe okay nice solid thick bass very well done nice you know it's it's a it's a very nice sounding IM as for the Bex Pro uh, and and you know like I said it's a it's a true pity because I was expecting I was expecting uh, more um, you know. It's, it doesn't sound bad, no, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound like a $400 IM, that's for sure. And when you actually are listening to the three of them and going back and forth, you know, um, there are occasions where you uh, might even get confused. Am I listening to the backs or have I changed it or, you know, because the performance of the conch and of the orca is very, very high. I mean, they both are playing above their price points, while this is, you know, a little bit on the on the on, it, it's a little bit underwhelming uh, and like i said it, it's saving grace ultimately is the treble which i think is really well executed and the bass i mean the bass is not bad if i if, if i have to be now uh, less critical the bass is actually not bad and uh, i would say on par here yeah, with the with the with the with the conch uh, and slightly better than the orca but the problem yeah is like i said the problem we're talking four hundred dollars this is let's say for the sake of argument twenty dollars uh, you know, the law of diminishing returns, fine, so, okay, but you want to have the performance upgrade that justifies if you're a buyer of the Orca and you want to maintain yourself in TRN, you want to upgrade to that, you want to listen to the top of the line and say, wow, okay, this, this sounds, and that's not unfortunately how <coughs> things pan out, and, and with the conch, it's even more evident, all right, anyway, guys, I'll show you now the, the graphs and we'll wrap it up. Hi guys and uh, welcome now to the graph section here yeah, for the for the Bax Pro, the, the Orca and well uh, also the, the Conch. Um, let's start here with the graphs for the Orca. Let me take away some of these. Okay, this is, these two graphs that I'm showing you are the graphs for the Orca in the uh, 111 position which is uh, the yellow one, the orange yellow and in the blue in the 00, zero position which is how I listen to it. Um, in the in the one 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 position, it just becomes way too dark, and um, well, I guess it it just doesn't make sense for me at least, or into my ears. So I didn't really um, give it much uh, much listening time. As um, for the zero 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 position of the switches, as you can see, this is kind of a, a harmonic kind of tune, but with a, a pretty emphasized bass. But uh, interestingly enough, although the bass is, is is quite prominent, I mean we're talking about <coughs> ten dBs to the bass. And about the pin again is roughly six, almost seven dBs for the for the pin again. Um, so you would think that yes, okay, this is overpowering. It's a, it's got a lot of energy. It's bleeding into the mids. Funny enough, no. So I would assume that uh, the, the 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 driver that they chose is a decent quality driver, and it actually sounds um, yes, it is bass heavy, but it does sound still open enough. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier. <coughs> it kind of gives me, and, and I can just show you the graph by, for the sake of argument, uh, blonde, it does have that blonde Z300 kind of vibe, um, blonde, 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 there we go, blonde Z300 HBB, it does have that kind of vibe, and now that I've actually put up the graph, you will see what I mean, so, a, a definite emphasis on, on the bass, uh, and the blonde, although it seems that it's got more detail uh, in the in the treble and in the you know, in the past 10k area, uh, um, uh, it's not as much as what the graph here uh, is showing. It's 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 less. It's less. But the vibe is a bl a, a blonde Z300 vibe. Um, as compared to the conch with uh, with the red uh, O-ringed nozzle termination um, I mean it's it's the conch is a, it's a really nicely tuned I am and it plays really well and you can see bass is very similar <coughs> the difference here is in the treble and in the past 10k area where definitely the the conch has got more of a sound stage uh, presence more that, that you know that space that atmosphere it creates that better than the, the, the orca but 
it's not that the orca doesn't do it it's just they've just been tuned differently uh, and um, you know they are good complements to each other I would say that much so when I was saying earlier that you know they sound wise they are very competent with each other I, I thoroughly mean that because the tuning is different so they would make sense to to have both of them okay um, and then with regards to the uh, Vax Pro let me show you first here the original one that I got which was this this set of graphs that I'm showing you let me just make this a little bit more visible okay this was the initial um, Bax Pro that I got um, the red line is with the switches all in the off position and the, the brown line with the switches in the on position a, a huge mid bass bump I mean it just was overpowering it, it it just did not sound good you actually didn't even feel that there was any thing up top uh, 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 you know because of the, how much over powered it was by the base so subsequently um, I then got the unit from TRN like uh, from uh, TRN from Hi-Fi Go like I said <coughs> excuse me and this is the graph of the unit I got from uh, from Hi-Fi Go so um, a much much nicer uh, execution um, again if I was to have it in the 111 position this area here around 4 to 6 is emphasized and I didn't particularly like it because it just brought out more that BA timbre uh, um, and I just didn't like it in this in this setup like this, which is the switch is all zero. <coughs> it sounds uh, it sounds it sounds good. Now does it sound like a four hundred dollar IM? No, it doesn't. I'm not going to deny it. Uh, and just for you guys to kind of see what I mean by comparing it with um, uh, the, the the conch and the um, uh, the conch is this one here, okay, and the orca is this one here. Okay, so compared to the to the other two, you can see that basically up to let's say two and a half k, they are very similar. Uh, but then things uh, you know completely change. Um, compared to the orca, <coughs> um, you would think that the orca has got more detail, but no, there's more detail on the on the uh, Bax Pro. Um, but also that. Uh, that more detail uh, does make the bass come across just ever so thinner it's cleaner more detailed different but ever so thinner um, you know does it sound better does it sound worse uh, it's it's debatable honestly it's debatable there's more detail yes then there's more treble there's more twinklies but it's debatable if ultimately it's a better sounding I am when you consider the price compared to Compared to the um, to the uh, conch, uh, the, the conch for me is just a better sounding. I am period. Uh, end of story. Uh, the bass is as clean, as detailed, as as resolving, and then it's got the right amount of everything up top uh, to you know to match it. Um, the treble of the Bax Pro, as I mentioned as well, is pretty well done. And so although it's, it seems like low and and like a, a little bit underwhelming, no, it is a, a pretty decent treble. It is a very decent treble, not pretty decent. It is a very decent de decent treble, and and, and and there's a lot of detail up here, um, you know. And obviously that's the testament of the of the ESTs. Anyway, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my my take here on these uh, two products from TRN. The Orca definitely a wreck. Uh, the Bax Pro, I would say, you know, save your money. You've got other options which are better. Uh, and again, I would ask TRN. You know, you you guys can do better. I know you guys can do better. I mean, if you guys have done the Conch, if you've done the Orca, if you've done the ST5, which is a fantastic IM, um, the Bax Pro could have been done better. It could have definitely had been tuned better. All right. As always, like and subscribe. Any questions you might have, please feel free to ask them. Take care now. Bye-bye.